Hi, I'm Katie, and this is Kath from the 19th. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm kicking off a new series that I'm going to be calling Premiere Pro Tips. Punny names aside, let's jump into the content of today's video. Today, I want to talk about a topic that I am very passionate about, and that is vertical footage. With the popularity of recording videos on smartphones ever on the rise, viewers are more and more often faced with the terrible insult that is viewing vertical footage in a 16 by 9 player. I'm sorry, but I cannot stand people uploading vertical footage to YouTube. Okay, that stuff can pass on Facebook, but not on YouTube. So to help you from committing this ultimate faux pas, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to edit your vertical footage in Premiere Pro to make it usable for YouTube. So step one, of course, is to open up Premiere Pro and import your vertical footage. There are a lot of different ways to get your Snapchat or Instagram stories or other videos from your phone onto your laptop, but my method is to upload the files to Google Drive from my phone and then download them onto my computer. Once you've got your footage imported, drag your first clip onto the timeline. Now what you want to do is, if you have audio, select the clip and then click on Unlink. Now you can select only the video part of the footage and copy and paste it next to itself in the timeline. Now you wanna drag the copied clip on top of the original clip. When you play it back at this point, it will look like nothing has changed. Now for the important step, what you're gonna do is select the clip underneath. Go into the effect controls panel. Here you can change the size of the clip. This is under scale. I usually like to change mine to about 250% bigger. We wanna make sure that the background has an abstract bokeh kind of feel and not to be obviously the same clip. After you've completed this step, all you have to do is go into the effects panel and find Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur. I don't really know how people say it. And now you choose how blurry you want the clip to be. I usually dial mine up to about 50 because I really don't want there to be obvious shapes or words or anything like that in the background to distract from the actual vertical clip. And that's it. Now you have your vertical footage that fills the whole screen. Admittedly, it's not as good as filming in landscape in the first place, so I recommend doing that as much as you can. However, I think this is a great strategy for featuring Instagram or Snapchat stories in your YouTube videos. I hope you found this first episode of Premiere Pro Tips helpful or interesting. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. I always appreciate the encouragement. If you have any questions about what I showed you in this video or suggestions for future Premiere Pro Tips videos, please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to help you out with any of your video editing struggles. Also hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my future vlogs or videos about videography, photography, and design. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I hope you're following your dreams and remember to just keep creating. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.